Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS version on VMA workstation. First go to Ubuntu official website that is ubuntu.com. Click on get Ubuntu. See here we have the desktop, server, Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu for IoT, develop on Ubuntu, Windows and Mac. So then select desktop and click on download Ubuntu desktop. See here the version. We have the latest version that is 24.04.1 LTS version. This is the latest stable version. See here, these are the new things in this one. And if you want to see the system requirements, you have to select system requirements. If you want to see how to install, you have to click on how to install. Okay, minimum 2 gigahertz core processor are better for system. 4 GB system memory, 25 GB of free address space. Okay, click on this green button to download the Ubuntu 24.04.1 LDS. Click on it. See your download should see download has been started. If it is not started, you have to click on download. Now. Go to downloads. See here, its a size is 5.8 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMA workstation. See here, I have the two types of VMA workstation versions. One is Pro, this is paid one, and VMA workstation 17 player. This is the free application for non-commercial purpose. Okay, so, but the installation process is same on both. I will keep the link to download and install VMA workstation on Windows machines. Okay, so open both and we will show you the process. See, this is the VMA workstation pro, just you need to click on create a new virtual machine. And on Windows player also, just you have to click on create a new virtual machine. Process is same on both. Now click on create a and see here these are the list of the virtual machines available or created on my PC. So click on create a new virtual machine. Then click on next. Set the installer disk image file. Then set the browse. Then set the downloaded ISO file. Then click on open. Click on next. Here provide name. Provide username. Click on next. Provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving UB24041 LTS. Copy this one. Then set the location to store this virtual machine files and folders by clicking on this browse button. Select the path where you have the NF space. Click on next. Provide disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See by default memory has taken 4 gigabytes. If you want to change any one of these settings, click on customize hardware. Suppose if you want to decrease memory to 2 gigabytes, you have to bring the Pointed to 2 gigabytes. If you want to increase, you have to move up and up or down. Okay. I am okay with 4 gigabytes. Otherwise, if you want to specify the memory in megabytes, you have to provide the number here. Number of processors and other options. If you want to add anything, you have to click on add. I am okay with the default settings. If you want to enable virtualization, you have to select this one. If you want to virtualize CPU performance, you have to select this one. At present, I am not going to select, but if it is required, you can select them. Otherwise, click on close. Also, see here the checkbox or on this virtual machine after creation. If you select this one, whenever we click on finish, it automatically starts the installation of Ubuntu 24.04.1 at yes. I am not going to select, so click on finish. See, new virtual machine created, but installation not yet started. So, click on power on this virtual machine. Right click, select the power, then select the power on. Okay, R. VM, then 
power then power on all three options are same so click on power on this virtual machine Select the language and click on next. Click on next. Keyboard layout. I am going with English US and click on next. Connect to internet. Click on next. See here we have the two options. Install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu. Try Ubuntu is a temporary. So I want to install permanently. So select the first one that is install Ubuntu. Then keep this header button selected as it is and click on next. Type of installations, interactive installation, automated installation. I am going with interactive installation. Select it and click on next. See here we have the application selections, default selection, extended selection. Select the default selection and click on next. If you want to install the third party software graphics for and Wi-Fi hardware, select both and click on next. If you want to go back, you have to click on go back. Select the first one. This is the fresh installation. So select the first one that is erase disk and install Ubuntu. Select it and click on next. Now create the user account. I am giving username as after scores. Next, this is the computer name or the host name. So I am giving Ubuntu 241. Later also you can change the host name and this is the username and this is the user full name. Okay. So I am okay with the both. So provide the password for this user remember this username and password which is required to connect to Ubuntu machine then require my password to log on so select it and click on for the active directory use select the use active directory otherwise click on next I don't have active directory so unselect it and click on next select the time zone you can select the time zone from this world map or you can search here also i'm okay with the default one click on next see this is the installation summary if you are okay with all these settings you have to click on install otherwise if you want to modify you have to click on back and you can edit them so click on install see installation has been started i'm going to skip this installation i will resume whenever the installation completes See Ubuntu 24.04.1 LDS is installed and ready to use. So restart to complete the installation or continue testing. So any changes we make will be not changed. So click on restart now. Click on username and provide the password. Click on next. If you want to enable Ubuntu Pro, you have to select this one. Otherwise, select this skip for now and click on next. I don't want to share the system data. Click on next. All done. Click on finish. You have successfully installed and connected to Ubuntu machine. Now open terminal. Click on show applications. See here we have the terminal. If you have the more applications, you can search here. Terminal. Drag this to this menu. Click on terminal. If font size is too low, use the this three horizontal bars, then preferences, then select the unnamed, then select the custom font, then select the font size that you want, then select it. See, font has been increased. Now verify version of the Ubuntu that we have installed more slash etc. OS hyphen release. See, we have installed Ubuntu 24.04.1 LDS. This is the name of the Ubuntu. Okay. The first step after connecting to Ubuntu is we have to run the sudo apt update. This may take time. Update. Now it is asking us to update. So, three packages can be upgraded. So, use the command sudo apt upgrade hit enter type for confirmation and hit enter 
so this is the fresh installation so it won't take much time because it won't, doesn't have the more applications all done okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install ubuntu 24.04.1 lds desktop on vmware workstation for more ubuntu or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you